Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from InfoRest. Hope you're all doing well. So, I have an interesting article here. It comes out from Bloomberg. It says, Frosted Flakes Maker bets on cereal for dinner to help sales. Wow. Does Frosted Flakes think that people are going to start having cereal for dinner now? Now, why is that? What does Frosted Flakes see that other people don't? Well, they probably think that with the recession down the road, with the recession coming, there's going to be tough times ahead, which means, in other words, that people will be having cereal for dinner as well as during breakfast because the cost of food has gone up significantly. If you look at cost of uh, the prices in groceries, uh, food to eat out, all of them have gone up significantly. Now let's go through this Bloomberg article and I'll leave the link in the description so you can read up on it. But it basically says that Kellogg, the maker of Frosted Flakes, is betting on expanding cold cereal to dinner and snacking to attract customers and, and fuel sales for Kellogg's spinoff. Okay, so they want to fuel sales. That means that, okay, they're having some issues with, uh, with their sales right now. And part of the issues... That, that they're having is because if you look at cereal and you go to the uh, grocery store, you see cereal cost and the price uh, ha has moved up. And, and the cost of cereal is, is also um, caused a lot of uh, Americans out there to think second guess whether they should get cereal or not, or whether they should have a smaller box or smaller portion, something that's at smaller um, when it comes to uh, cereal, right? So when, when you look at the decisions that are being made, it's basically telling you that, hey, yes, people are facing also pain with cereal because as they buy a box, it's pretty expensive, right? Compared to pre-COVID levels, right? So they're thinking, okay, you know, let's create maybe a dinner kind of uh, spin-off, uh, maybe some snacks, which might even which might even sound like that, hey, they may come up with something smaller, smaller brand for, for dinner, right? Make this the new theme that you'll have cereal for breakfast and for dinner and uh, might as well just buy the box itself and it'll save you money from buying two items. Maybe you'll just buy one item and maybe you'll save money on eating other types of food, right? So going into this article, it says about 25% of cereal consumption is already outside of breakfast. So already 25% of people consuming cereal, they have it not just during breakfast, maybe even during dinner. Um, that could just be a preference thing. Um, besides growth in more cereal-based snacks, the evening hours are a big opportunity to revive ready-to-eat cereal in North America with legacy brands, including Raisin Bran and Special K, right? So it could be also a thing where just people are lazy to make things and um, they'll just have cereal or they have less items in their, maybe their uh, fridge, which they just decide that, hey, since they don't have much there, um, let's just, um, let's just order, uh, you know, let's just have a bowl of cereal. That could also be one thing. Um, now, when you go down in this article, it also says that Kellogg, the shares dropped 7% on Tuesday. The stock has declined in every session since the first day of trading last week. Cereal is a big deal in the U.S. with sales last year, $9.5 billion. Uh, but volumes sold have been declining as shoppers cut back amid persistent inflation and eating patterns normalized as pandemic impact fades, right? So you're, you're seeing the sales drop even for uh, cereal um, just because the prices have gone up. Now, they may say in this article that, um, you know, part of it is because uh, people don't want to eat cereal anymore and, um, and, and traditional cereal doesn't have as much as protein in it in the dinner um, and meats. And, and, and whatnot, so people are moving away from, from cereal. But this could change things, right? Um, you know, down the road where people see that, okay, meat is too expensive, might as well just get cereal. Now, I'll tell you why 
you know, a big portion. They may argue that, you know, ch um, the changing eating habits may be a big reason. And sure, that may be, but, but, but the prices of cereal has gone up. Okay, and, and there are people out there complaining about the prices of cereal and that has also contributed to a decline in um, in cereal and, um, and especially in their sales. So what you might actually see happen is smaller portion of, cere of you know, cereal getting back to that price and offering it to people. Um, in the stores and people might say, okay, I might as well take this rather than buying maybe two chicken breasts for, I don't know, 20 bucks, let's say, right? You, you heard stories out there. You might've heard stories out there like that where stores are selling, you know, two pieces for just 20 bucks and it's insane how expensive things are getting. So yes, food in general has been becoming more expensive and it's very interesting to see Kellogg betting on the dinner market saying that people are going to eat um, you know um, going to eat cereal for dinner and they're thinking of creating you know maybe snacks or cereal for dinner catered for dinner and I wonder how that will look like down the road right now with a demand crunch and with a recession prices are expected to come back to pre-COVID levels. So although, you know, Frosted Flakes may be betting that people are going to eat cereal for dinner uh, to help their sales, right? What will happen if people really, really stop going out and buying things, right? Really stop shopping and, the, and sales plunge even further right? All that production that you've done, you're going to have to sell and get it off your inventory at cheaper the price, right? So certain decisions there, if they're made at the wrong time, you'll see that as consumers feel more, more of the pinch, yes, they will deviate and move to other, um, other substitutes that are cheaper in terms of uh, eating and, and groceries, um, you, you'll definitely see that, but um, overall, everything will be affected in a hard landing recession. So let me know what you guys think. Are you eating cereal during dinner time? Is that your favorite thing to do? Or when you come back from work or do you eat cereal? Uh, are you considering eating cereal more in your diet? Uh, let me know. Leave a comment below. Subscribe. Hit the like button, bell icon to be notified on the next video. And I'll see you guys around. Cheers. Bye.